Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this Logitech logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of Adobe Photoshop and simple tips and tricks in After Effects. And if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff inside of After Effects, then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses. Links are available in the description. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we will call it as main animation as always we do, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 10 second long and background color is white color and simply hit ok. Let's do one thing, we will increase a duration a little bit just in case if we need that and simply hit ok and go to the gra choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Now we are gonna go in Adobe Photoshop. Now I have this logo file over here. I have divided this each and every alphabet on separate layer like this. As you guys can see, LM is on separate layer and small small elements are also on separate layer. And I'll save this Photoshop file. And then I'll go to the After Effects and I'll press Ctrl I. Then I'll select my Photoshop layer. Instead of footage, I'm going to choose composition, return layers and sizes and simply hit import and simply hit OK. Then go inside this, select all of these layers and hit Ctrl C to copy. Go to the main animation and hit Ctrl V and simply bring these layers over here. Then right click new and create one null object. Simply select all of them and make it apparent with this null. And sorry, uh, select this null object, press S and unlink this. Not unlink this, but scale this size like this. <coughs> and let's adjust it properly over here. okay so this is how we will adjust the size and now we are going to animate this eye and this small dot on the eye so i'll bring this at the top and i'll change the layer colors also i'll change it to yellow and also delete this null object we don't need that and we will hide all of these layers over here and let's make this full resolution now i'm going to select my pen tool and i'm going to choose like red color over here simply hit uh, plus let's zoom in a little bit and from here to here i am going to create one line over here and simply bring this line downwards let's make this fit and let's bring this line downward then by holding shift i am going to create one line over here and i'll bring one line over here by holding shift and let's hit ctrl plus to zoom in and now we will select this and we need to increase the stroke weight until unless it's going to cover our entire eye and with the help of our keys you can also adjust it like this and let's increase the size it should cover properly this eye like this okay and let's make this fit then go inside this add menu and we are going to choose rounded corners go to the rounded corners and increase the corners somewhere around like this until unless we will get this kind of shape then we'll go to the add menu and we are going to choose trim path go to the trim path and if you see we can create this kind of animation over here like this so let's make the start value 100 and create one keyframe zoom in a little bit go to around one second and let's make this zero then go somewhere around in middle of that let's create one keyframe at end then go somewhere around 10 second and let's make this value somewhere around like this let's try to make this 8 let's try to make this 9 i think 9 looks good to me like this now select this and change the color of this layer to black layer like this and now we don't need this uh, eye layer over here we will delete it so if you see this now we will get this kind of stuff now select this layer and hit u select those keyframes and hit f9 like this now select this line, select this by holding shift, we will move one handle over here and we will move one handle over here. So if you see, we will get something like this by holding alt, I will move this duration up to one second. So I will get something like this. Then I am going to select this ball over here, 
let's press P for position create one keyframe then go somewhere around one second create another keyframe go somewhere around 10 second create another keyframe in middle of this I am going to bring this a little bit upward and at the start I am going to bring this completely out of this composition then select those keyframes and hit F9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift I will move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here so if you see we will get this falling animation then we will need little bit bounce so I will move this handle over here and this over here this over here and this over here let's select this again and this over here so if you see we will get this kind of animation then after that we will right click new and create one null object now select both of these layers and make it a parent with this null object but before we doing that we need to adjust the position of this null object so let's select this position zoom in a little bit let's bring this uh, somewhere around over here or let's say in middle of that like this okay like this now select both of them and make it apparent with this null like this now select this null object over here let's uh, zoom in a little bit first of all after this animation i'm gonna let somewhere around this animation press r for rotation let's go somewhere around over here create one keyframe go 10 frame forward and let's rotate it like this then go 10 frame forward then let's make it 40 over here like this like this okay then again over here we will do it minus 40 okay now what we need to do over here let's uh, select all of these layers or instead of that select this first layer i mean this last layer and this layer over here select both of these layers and simply bring this over here and press p for position create one keyframe like this press s create another keyframe and press r to create another keyframe and hit u now what i want i want this animation should be done in 10 uh, 20 frames and create another keyframe over here and another keyframe over here like this now what i want over here if you see this this should come from here like this so i'm going to select this eye over here and i'll bring this initially over here let's disable this mapping and this edge should be over here like this or instead of that let's do one thing uh, let's uh, bring this edge over here and this eye should be over here like this so if you see we will get something like this I hope you are understanding this let's adjust this properly select this and this like that and select this layer and change the scale to let's say 10 select this one and let's change the scale to 10 go over here and let's make this one complete rotation also make this one one complete rotation so we will get something like this so if you see this animation now first we will get this like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we will move one handle over here like this okay now select those key sorry uh, select those keyframes and hit f9 like this and if you want then by holding alt you can reduce the duration of it so it will move a little bit fast so if you see we'll get something like this or instead of that simply go to the graph editor select this graph uh, you can hold shift move one handle over here and one handle over here like this okay so if you see like that okay but we will hit ctrl z on that because we don't need to do that right now uh, because we need other rotations also so uh, first this animation 
and then this animation along with that we need to do this procedure for other alphabets also so then i'm going to enable this one and this one and let's move this over here like this okay but before that let's do one thing we will copy this keyframes hit ctrl c ctrl v over here again ctrl c ctrl v over here so we will get a little bit animation this i for a while okay now at this point what i want is that this o should come from top and this come from bottom so first of all select them you can adjust them over here also let's bring them at the top similarly what we will do we will select this layers also and we will bring this over here and let's minimize this because they are already animated now select this layers again press p create one keyframe then press s create one keyframe and then press r create one keyframe and hit u then go 20 frame forward create this keyframes again and then go to the start then select this o this o should come from here and this c should come from here and their scale should be 10 and at the end their rotation should be 1 and select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here like this if you see over here also we have adjusted the same thing over here also we will adjust the same thing now at this point again we need to adjust the another one so let's select this one and let's move them over here and bring them at the top press p create one keyframe s one keyframe r one keyframe hit u take a distance of 20 frames again create another keyframe go to the start and this time this this e over here should start over here and this stuff over here it should start over here like this change the scale of this one to 10 go over here and make one complete rotation select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor and move this graph over here okay then go over here let's minimize both of them let's select this two and let's move them over here press p s r hit u again 20 frame forward create another keyframe go to the start over here let's select this i i mean this null object okay let's move them over here and i think we need to take this 20 frame forward like this and this stuff over here it should start from here and this this one should start from here like this then scale 10 at this point rotation 1 okay select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here like this then at this point after that after this rotation i want rotation of this one should be zero and we don't need those last keyframe so if you see this stuff now we will get something like this and now we will select those keyframes of this rotation go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and let's move one handle over here and if you see this now we will get something like this okay hit you simply select all of them and enable the motion blur and now if you see this animation we will get something like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of logo animation inside of after effects and there is another stuff if you want then you can do you can select all of these layers which are this one not this i and this o 
uh, select all of this and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as text and hit ok go to the effect and presets panel and search for eco effect and double click to apply so if you see uh, along with this animation you will get a little bit of eco animation of it like this and then uh, you what you can do you can increase the number of copies to 10 and also let's in decrease, increase the value for decay like this like this and then uh, you can select this and go inside this over here let's select this one and there is one property i forgot to add let's hit t and create one keyframe hit u go over here and create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this opacity 10 initially select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift move this handle over here like this select those keyframe and hit ctrl c select this hit ctrl v also select all of these layers and at the start hit ctrl v to apply that opacity keyframes and let's see how this works like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of logitech logo reveal or any other logo reveal if you want you can animate like this